How are we doing guys? Welcome back to another video. Although I seem quite energetic and chirpsy, <laughs> it's the end of the week, it's Friday, it's also the end of the year. We've got one week left, I'm pretty damn exhausted. But it is a Friday, which means that we've got a nice weekend ahead. I've got a few plans with Daisy this weekend, going down for a birthday brunch this afternoon, which will be lovely. So yeah, but we've got one week left. That's not what this, today's video is about, however. Today's video is all about leadership positions and how to get a leadership position. And the reason I want to talk about this is because I've recently got a promotion, which is very exciting. This year, I have been head of science, as you may know if you've watched my content over the last couple of years. I have been managing the science position. I've been updating science, looking at assessment protocols, how we run things in here, data, etc. And whilst I will be continuing that role next year as well, and I've got lots of fun plans for it, I decided that I was also going to apply for a head of year position because one became available and I got it. This is an exciting opportunity for me. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about what I went through, the process I went through. And largely, this video is going to be about how you can get yourself into a leadership position if you're not already in one, the kind of things that I've done, my experiences, and so on. But first of all, I need to respond to some emails because it's half six and I've just got in. So, what can you do if you don't feel like you've got much experience at the moment? if you are looking to progress and you want to know the sort of the first steps. Now, for me, um, taking on additional responsibility is, is the best way to do this. Even before I applied for any official leadership positions, I have always had the mentality of pursuing something that I'm passionate about. In my first school, it was looking down the science route and the geography route making sure that I showed my leadership team that I was interested in those positions. Um, I've also done some pastoral roles that have been unpaid, that have allowed me to, again, work with different people from around the college. And in doing this, you are demonstrating your ability to be a leader, to manage other people, to communicate effectively. And so when the opportunity then arises to put yourself forward for a leadership position, the people that you are applying to have already seen you lead children, lead other teachers, lead groups of people, and run projects. And okay, it might be unpaid, okay, you might have to work a little bit longer, do more hours, give up a bit more of your free time, but by showing the leadership team that you're dedicated and that you want to promote things within the school, there's a great qualities that a leader needs, and it will put you in really good stead for a new position. Another thing that you can do, which I would recommend, is leadership CPD. Self-improvement, professional development, all that great stuff. Now, I've done a few of these, I've put myself forward for various um, professional development courses. I've done my own research. I've read books. This year, in fact, I put myself onto, or I applied, I should say, for an internal leadership course. What it meant was every term, I met with a group of like-minded teachers from around the college. We met with various members of the leadership team. We looked over some literature. We talked about communication styles, leadership styles, and we had a project. And I managed a project, which was my garden area that, again, if you've seen previous videos, you'll know that I set up a garden this year at my college as part of my science role. And it was great. It meant that I was able to learn more about myself. I was able to learn more about leadership, get some insights from leaders from around my college. And again, it puts me in that good position and it's great for your CV. So if you don't have anything on your CV currently, or you feel like you don't have much experience, try and get involved in some CPD. Now. I'm very much all about putting yourself out there, jumping into areas that you don't necessarily feel comfortable with to progress and to grow. So even if there isn't a position blaringly obvious um, out there, go to your leadership team, go to someone, it could be your headmaster, it could be your head of year, whoever it might be, and explain to them that you are looking to progress, you're looking for leadership opportunities. Um, because there may well be areas that the school want a teacher to lead on that they haven't necessarily expressed to you. And that could be an opportunity for you to work on those leadership skills. And if a position does come available, apply for it. What, what can you lose? And at least you're putting yourself into the, the right position to get those promotions and to become a leader. One thing I would say though, and this is important to remember, is don't be disheartened if you don't get a position the first or second or even third time that you've applied. 
The reason could be that there's someone who has more experience than you. It could be that actually they've put a role out there, but they've already got someone in mind for that job. My first time applying for a leadership position in my current school, I didn't get it because there was someone else um, who applied for the position that was more experienced. They'd already done the role before. And so in the interview, they were able to tell and explain and just show that they were more experienced than I was. And they ended up getting the position and I didn't. But other opportunities arose for me later on that I took up, which put me in leadership roles anyway. So don't be disheartened if you don't go for it because this is all a learning opportunity. And even within the interview process, you are learning things. You can get feedback on it. So the next time you go for the interview, you will walk in there feeling a little bit more confident. Okay guys, I am gonna wrap the video up now. I will just end with a short point. Learning is a constant evolution, right? For me, as a teacher, I'm constantly evolving, I'm constantly learning. I'm looking at different ways to improve and engage my pupils in different ways. And it's the same with leadership. In fact, I'd probably say more so with leadership because a lot of leadership is about managing and working with people. And everyone reacts to situations differently. You're gonna meet some people that respond positively to change, others that respond negatively to change. It's a, it's a complicated role. And no two days are the same. And so that's also what brings excitement to the position. Anyway, like I say, next year I'm gonna be the head of science and I'm also gonna be the head of year. I have, I know who my, my colleagues are gonna be for next year. I'm already working on ways to engage them within the topics and, and the things that we're gonna be doing. And I'm very excited. I will give you updates as we go to see how I'm coping and managing the, the new position. Um, but it's a very exciting time for me. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, obviously don't forget to, to, to like it, to comment. If you've got any specific questions about leadership, about the application process, um, go over and follow me on Instagram and I will get back to you or comment on the video below. Subscribe, do all that great stuff. I've got one week left. Then Daisy and I are going off traveling. Next week is gonna be busy because we're also moving apartments. There's a lot going on, but it's the end of the school year and that's just what happens. All right, I'm gonna leave the video here and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Peace out.